Good evening, everyone, and welcome to St. Rocco's uh, Kitchen. Uh, my name is Father Joe Quetter. I'm the pastor here at St. Rocco's. Um, we are cooking in our kitchen because our hall kitchen is being uh, over uh, redone and overhauled, and unfortunately, because of COVID, it's running a little behind schedule. But uh, I'd like to introduce Patrick, uh, who is uh, not only our organist here at St. Rocco's, but uh, a farmer from Alpha, and is going to cook for us today and uh, teach us to cook a Hungarian goulash, one of his uh, favorite uh, uh, dishes. Patrick, take it away. First things first, we take our roast and we cube it. And then we go and put it in the frying pan. <clears throat> and then we put a little bit of Hungarian paprika on, on it, salt and pepper. And what I like to do is chop a, an onion into it. Gives it a unique flavor. Patrick, you chose Hungarian goulash. Why did you choose Hungarian goulash? Because I'm Hungarian, Father. And my last name is Chislak. <clears throat> so, Father, what's your nationality and where do you come from? <laughs> I come from Shenandoah and my nationality is Irish and Lithuanian. And on our wonderful stove that God blessed us so well with, we put our beef our onions, and one whole stick of butter into the frying pan, and we've got, we will start frying it now. We put it on low, on a low heat till everything gets to a nice golden brown. And now we will add two quarts of my homemade pasta sauce that was fresh out of my garden from the, this current year's harvest. And then we will add our caraway seed to taste along with our Hungarian paprika. As you're cooking sauce, you want the sauce to have the caraway uh, seed taste in it. And it has to be to taste. <clears throat> Then, once we do get it to taste, and the meat is fried up, then we put the meat and the sauce together. <clears throat> so, Father, what are you doing over there? Patrick, you have me working. Well, that's good. <laughs> what are you doing? I am uh, stirring the meat. And what kind of meat is it? Uh, the meat that you cut up in cubes for the Hungarian goulash with the onions and the butter <coughs> and uh, you guys put the heat up a little bit more for you so that everything uh, cooks here. Well, I added some paprika in with the meat. Now to taste it. And it's tasty too. And now we're going to transfer the meat into the sauce pot. And why is that, Patrick? Because we want the meat to absorb a lot of the tomato sauce. And then we add a little bit of juice in there. <clears throat> you can if you want to, you don't have to. I do. <clears throat> and now we will mix this all in together. And now it's time for the noodles. <clears throat> I use egg yolk, extra broad. A little bit of olive oil with the noodles, a bit of salt. <clears throat> now for the water. I 
and the water. And we're gonna still get the water. You know, they say a messy kitchen is a happy kitchen. Well, my house, mine must be delirious. And now for the stove. Bring it to a boil. Drain it. And then we'll finally have the most delicious meal on this planet. The update is in. The noodles are done. Time to go strain. Now we're straining. Straining, straining, straining. Father. Who's the best organist around these parts? You are, of course. Okay. Here we come, my last thing, a one a wee to green. A wee boo a wee boo a wee boo Mm mm. Look at that dish. You know what makes this even better, right? No, what's that, Patrick? I cooked it. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Go. Bon appetit. Thank you, Patrick. Delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that'll cost you twenty-four ninety-five. 